Cooley County, Georgia. Rookie officer Benny Hunter is only minutes from ending his day. Hey, how you doing? When he's called to the scene of an unusual accident. Is this your car? Uh, no, this isn't my car. Little does Hunter know, this is all a big joke, and everyone's in on it. The partner, the victim. You know, I've already called about this actually twice. Uh huh. Even the suspects. That's right. These two professionally trained border collies are the suspects. Uh, it's on in this part of town. What happened? And these guys have been driving up and down this morning, like back and forth for hours, and like doing stuff in the middle of the street. And finally, they just, I mean, look what they did to my yard here. My mailbox is gone. The deputy hears the man's story, but something seems off. He decides to get some clarification. Who's been driving? Um, I'm not really sure. I think it was probably the black and white one. The dog? Yeah. The dog's been driving the car. Been flying up and down. <laughs> as ridiculous as the situation is, the deputy's first job is to find the truth. But, uh, anyway, you have any identification? I, I'm glad you find this. Yeah. Trying to fully grasp what's going on, the officer asks a few basic questions. Yeah. The pit. Well, maybe that's what the second one's for. I don't know. Then the strange gets even stranger. Deputy Hunter has dispatch run the plates. It turns out the car's been stolen. And from where? About 40 old animal hospital. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> These guys are not just bad drivers. They're hardened criminals. I'm telling you. No, I'm telling you, man, it's the black and white one. You know. I'm not kidding. It's a, I stood and watched them go back and forth. I mean, I, when I called in originally, that's why I called. You know? I mean, the deputy I, can't I, believe I, his ears. And I mean, probably Atlanta, shouldn't. You know, in Atlanta, they don't let dogs drive. I don't know about down here. Well, I ain't never seen a dog drive a car. Out of nowhere, a third officer arrives. My room, do you have? Yeah. He's also in on the joke, and there's no way he's missing the punchline. Now only one question remains, what to do? Suddenly, for the deputy, things aren't so funny. He has no idea how to handle the predicament. He gets the major's opinion. You'll go. Then he gets the man's opinion. Well. I definitely want the prosecutor. He even gives the driver a say. <laughs> but ultimately, the decision is his. Well, they look guilty or something. The other officers wait for just the right moment. Hey, come on. The moment is now. <laughs> they decide to let their colleague in on the joke. You been prank, man. <laughs> oh, man. The major reveals the many hidden cameras. You look over there and wave. <laughs> you look right in there and wave. You wave. You ain't got nothing there. <laughs> and now it's time to show the deputy who's responsible for all of this. Thanks a lot. I <laughs> really appreciate it. Ray, hi. <laughs> Congratulations are given for a well-executed prank. Good job, Cujo. But in the end, <laughs> Deputy Benny Hunter of the Dooley County Sheriff's Department has the last laugh. I don't care what you say, I'm still going to charge him. 